Hello and welcome and we are back at the big Lego shop at Legoland Billund. Now we are in the month of June as this gets recorded so there's plenty of different stock in this video compared to the other big visit that we did a month or two prior to this one. So first thing we see at this point of filming this was one of the newer sets that had just come out so this is also the Starry Night Lego set. Now did you pick this up on day one release? What do you think of the little minifigure that it comes with? I think it looks absolutely fantastic built, but I don't think it'd be something that I'd add into my collection. Now, the reason why we come straight back outside is because I walked past all of this and didn't even realise there's actually nobody outside the front of the Lego shop for the first time in ages. So I thought, well, let's go back out, have a quick look at all the models that are there. We're only going to be out there for another couple of seconds and we'll come straight back in. We'll wrap it around the corner. Now, the first bit that we normally see is where they start with all like the sweets and all the little Lego brick boxes and things like that. They were in the process of actually redoing the store. So you can see on the bottom right hand side just there, the cardboard boxes and stuff, and there's members of staff there. So I will add that back in at the end and I'll add in a bit of luck at the candy section as well. So we'll start with all the clothing as normal and then we'll loop it around and then we soon get into the Duplo, the Lego City, have a look at the pub stuff, the BAM stuff. There is a lot of everything within the store. So we're going to take a look at first all the different storage heads and bins and all the bricks and everything like that. So you can see they've now got loads of different facial expressions all the different sizes you've got the skeletons you've got the pumpkins and we go into all the clothing and everything now i managed to time coming into this store absolutely perfectly because the store does not open when the park opens the park opens up at 10 but the store either opens up at 12 or 1 and i just managed to come in about 15 minutes after it opened that's why the staff were still there with the boxes putting bits and pieces back out onto the shelf like i said we will look at that once it's been fully restocked at the end of this video and then just time it well so that's why this video is nearly double the length of the other one because we have so much space and room now i think a lot of the stock is in a completely different place on this one compared to the last visit as well which is always nice to always nice to see now just a word of warning if you do time the store entrance wrong so you wait until right at the very very end of the day it'd be a bit like trying to get into your lego store on day one release with everybody queuing up outside and they'll have a clicker to let you in and then once people obviously come out the exit they'll then let people back in again and then it'll be at max it'll just be at max capacity so just have a think of what time it is that you want to actually come in i'm not 100 percent sure if this store like the one in windsor does a click and collect where you can actually buy some of the bigger sets whenever you want and then you can come back and do a click and collect because obviously the signage will be in the local language not in english but i'm sure if they do it at windsor they will offer it here as well now you can see they've got a huge amount of duplo selection to pick from i think they've got lots of new bits and pieces in and then like i said i always like how they've got the sort of the glass cubes or the plexiglass cubes display shall i say with them just being able to see everything but all of this middle section i think has completely changed from when i was here last time because they've added in all of these little bits and pockets whereas i think it was an area to build they had some other display bits and pieces and they had some other stuff there as well so this is a the, this top side of the shop because they haven't got like the big aisles and things in it's just really easy for them to change it over and it's really you can see how much space you have to walk around everything so the, this store used to be i said this quite a lot now used to be the biggest store then it got overtaken by Windsor. then i do believe new york currently is the biggest store but let us know in the comments below what your local shop is or your local legoland park is like for stock and everything else and just what do you what do you think of it when you go in there now we are coming in to the pub so there's a half decent selection here it's just a couple of different bits and pieces this i would love to see this a lot bigger or have a much bigger section maybe if they ever expand the store because i can't see them wanting new york to be the biggest but if you do notice there's a pair of weighing scales because on this one compared to your normal lego shops and stores this goes by weight not by cup size so you just got to take that into consideration when you get some bits and pieces from your legoland park and you cannot use your vip points at the legoland stores shall i say but you do receive a discount if you are a Merlin Pass holder. So it very much comes down to, do you want to save money straight away? Or do you want to build up VIP points to get some exclusive sets with them being in the VIP section? That's, that's just the two big differences between the Legoland stores and the Lego store. It's the same stock, 
but how it works is just slightly different. So once you've got your head around that, it's not it's not too bad. But you can see they have a huge selection of friends, and we will be going around and having a look at absolutely everything else. So we've got all of the Lego City. The, we do have a better look at all the Lego Star Wars stuff. We've got a clearance section to have a look at. They have everything and anything that you can imagine within this store. So just let me know in the comments below if you've been to here or if you've been to one of the Legoland stores. What stock did you pick up? What sets did you treat yourself to? And what is also on your wish list? Now, what I really like and how they've got all of this together is how they have gotten grouped all of the big um, sets together. It's all in one area, so you can literally just walk straight through the door if you just wanted to go to one bit you can just go there, get it, and then come back. It's not like you then have to sort of hunt through and rummage through a lot of the other sort of sections as such. If you just wanted to come in for the modular sets, they're all grouped together. I do believe they actually had them on display together this time as well. So that looked nice and effective. And then you can just go, yeah, I want to take that one, that one, or that one. Thanks very much. If managed, we can take all of them, that'd be fantastic. And then you can just go back and then you can build them all up. But yep, you can see, we do literally have the whole store to ourselves like i said that's the reason why this video is so much longer than the one previous because we can just go around and we can just take our time with everything and then with regards to the airport um store that video is even longer because there's literally nobody there because the plane was so badly delayed and they had got so much new stock and the fact that you can get the titanic and then take it onto the plane is just unreal but i'll let you watch that over on the uh, lego stores playlist so in the lego stores playlist they have all the different lego lands that i've been to all the other little lego stores that i've been to and it's just a case of a full tour like this how do they compare to the other ones we've got them from the lego house we've got them from the billand airport we've got them from windsor billand obviously we've got them hopefully coming from germany we've got them from dubai as well and then as i keep traveling around the world I'll keep filming all these stores for you. So if this is the content that you do like, there is plenty of more videos available. And then obviously you've got all of the theme park videos. And again, you've got all like the different accommodations and how to get around videos and everything else like that. So there's lots of everything in all the different playlists. But what I really like is just how spacious this store is with regards to how they spread everything out. So this is what I mean about all the big sets now being together every every sort of larger set it's not so much the adult sets because obviously they're they're rechanging the age group on these now aren't they to something slightly to something slightly different but you've got all of the more advanced sets all together you've got all the heads and everything together it's just easy to look at and it just makes a nice photo as well so you can just take a picture go thanks very much and you've got all of the ucs sets all beside each other so you've got the 8080 you've got the big block of cheese and the falcon all together and i say this every time that rolling stone's tongue i can't get over how big the box is and then they've changed all of these little displays as well. They've got lots of these on displays. You've got the typewriter. And then obviously they're going really heavily into the sort of all the, the garden sets and things as well, which is obviously really nice because I think the first one did so well. They're now just releasing more and more of them as they, as they go around. And you can see they've got the new Ferrari in. They've got all the other Lego created cars and stuff made up. And they do have a good Technic section as well. That's another thing that they do do very, very well at the Legolands actually. I think it's just because they've got more space it's just a little bit easier to see everything um, obviously depending on the size of your local lego store they will have it in stock but it might be in their stock room it might not be fully fully on display so they might only have space for example for one of the big star wars sets and then there'll be a sign saying the other ones are available whereas here you can just see they're just piled on top of each other loads and loads of space it would be very interesting to see how and if they would expand this store to make this the biggest one but you can see there's loads of treehouse sets available um, they're really hard to find in the uk at the moment and they've got plenty of those and again you've got anything you want i don't think they were missing anything but don't forget this the store would have just been fully restocked as i came in so if you came in towards the end there might have been lots of boxes and everything moving around and missing and everything like that so it's it's really nice to see it sort of unbattered and with loads of people in because you can just see how tidy the stores can get and this is what i mean about just having a really nice sort of street view display of all the modular sets and they're all together so you can pick and choose the one that you want if there's any of those that you're missing then obviously please let me know in the comments below i'm missing the newer one that's just come out um that came out in january of 2022 but everything else in that display i actually do have so i'm looking forward to picking the uh picking that one up and just adding that into the city but you can see you've got all the different friend sets again they're all side 
side by side which is really easy and you've got all the lego idea sets together so you can see what i'm going on about now about how they've just grouped everything together but they've got all the typewriters the saturn 5 big old home alone set even more tree houses the globe has anybody picked up the globe yet and then as we pan around you then got all the all the nice architecture sets with a nice architectural display as well um so there's one or two newer bits and pieces in there and some of them are obviously going to be going sooner rather than later you've got the big coliseum and then you've got the little pyramid i do believe potentially that it's going to be the eiffel tower which is going to be the next massive one of those i think that's what people have been saying but now moving on to your builder minifigure so your bam loads and loads of bits and pieces to pick from i have never ever been able to stand in front of it without having to sort of slide between people as they're trying to pick and choose so this is the first and potentially the only time i will ever be able to film it this easily just walking around so you can see that you can either get one set or two sets so you can either get one lot of three figures or six figures basically for that price it was just amazing to see it like this i mean it was just like well which way should i go now should i go this way should i go that way and then obviously the way you then go you end up walking into one or two people but they do have everything from all the seasons out all the time as well so they have all the christmas stuff so you saw you had the little christmas stocking and everything like that you've got the full full lot of all your key rings so i know there's a couple of people that really do like their, their sort of key rings and keychains that i don't think i got any close to than that which is a bit of a shame because they were there for ages but then we move into all the technic stuff so you can see some of the new batman uh, vehicles done there you've got the 911 you've got the bike and then again, you coming round, you've got the new Technic Ferrari. You've got the Ferrari in the top left-hand corner as well. And then they've got loads of these. Just like the store in the centre of the Lego Park, they have lots and lots of those packs available. And what I forgot to say at the start is when we're padding around and having a look at all the T-shirts and things, there is actually a Lego wear shop on the other side where you can buy even more clothes and different patterns and things like that as well. So you just had a quick look at the cars, short and sweet, hard to get Lego all the i'm guessing it's the original last chance mario stuff which obviously hasn't sold that well and then we have some of the hidden size stuff we have some of the superhero stuff which i had never ever seen before until i came to this store you've got the obviously the dc comic superhero things and then they've got one or two of those caves left and then you've got the wonder woman 84 stuff which just didn't do very well at all i think the film not that i've seen it but apparently wasn't the greatest so i'll let you guys have a a good debate in that and then you've got the one or two world troll sets left you've got the marilyn monroe so that will change quite a lot that is something that they used to have in windsor uh where they they were like you're really hard to find they had all the really old sets in the glass cabinets just for people to see but then they pulled them all the waves i think it just confused people too much because i think people thought that you could still buy them i thought it was quite nice to have it as a bit of a museum piece and if they, they just made it clear enough that they weren't available for sale it would have still been quite nice to see them all built up but they took they took all that away which i think is a little bit of a shame but it also makes sense you can just imagine how many questions that they've been given now these are, have been added in this time these little happy chappies weren't here before so in the comments let us know the character names that you see and we do have a little bit longer at the star wars stuff so you can see that i'm not just going to run past it this time a couple of different bits and pieces that have been added in you see you can see all of those sets directly in front now had just come out i think at the start of that month and again, you've just got all the normal, all the normal Star Wars bits. But these had moved because they were in a slightly different position. And then we're coming up and round, and we've got all of these. And I'm actually looking. I need a luggage tag, so I might have found something that I'm going to then potentially buy if I come back in October or elsewhere. And again, they've got all of these models dotted around. So you've also got Yoda and everybody else. So it's quite nice that they put these back in. Um, what do you think do you like the fact that they've got them in i'm sure that there'll be some ninjago ones dotted around and they sometimes end up in the window displays and all sorts they they always get moved around and like i said like they've moved everything around with regards to the stock and everything which is always which is always nice so it's good to sort of get get looking about and seeing seeing what else is available so back up this way you've now got more some of the princess clothing on the left hand side that we've already seen but then you've got all of the um, swords and shields and everything that are on the right hand side now all the buzz Lightyear stuff has moved this is now all been added into this bit because in the last video it was in the new arrival section just as you came into the store on the left hand side that's now been replaced with even more new stock as we come around to the minecraft yeah i thought there was some some people from the ninjago as well so it's, I, th I think those models are really really effective um make some really nice really nice photos 
and again as we as we come around you can see a different different set of emergency doors there coming into the monkey kid section so you've got the monkey kid and the ninjago bits and pieces side by side love the colors that get used in the ninjago and the monkey kid sets out of the two which theme do you prefer are you more of a monkey kid fan or are you more of a ninjago fan and i mean by that if you could only watch and buy one which one would you go for now again as we're coming around because it is a lego land shop slash store rather than it just being a normal lego store they will have a lot of the clothing the hats and a lot of other sort of merchandise available with regards to like, the luggage tags that we just saw and everything else as well so i think i said this in the last video it was, it'd be quite nice if they did have maybe some t-shirts available at the local lego shops but then obviously it eats into their square footage and i guess everybody would rather have the lego sets rather than being able to buy like the luggage tags and things like that and it gives you a good excuse to want to come to these different shops because they have different things in it so they know a lot more than me about all the marketing side of stuff so we're still coming down the ninjago section this ninjago section is absolutely massive they have literally everything including all the towels and then we're coming in to the Super Mario. So it's quite quite interesting to think that in the last chance slash hard to find stuff, they had some Mario while still selling the Mario things as well. Because I think everything else that is on that shelf has been discontinued and it's not available anywhere else in that store. It is only available there. So I'm not for for whatever reason, sometimes the the Super Mario sets don't sell amazingly. Some of them sell really, really well. I, it's, it's something that I've never got my teeth sunk into, but if you are a fan of that, then please let everybody know. And I do like, and I'm becoming quite a big fan of the Lego City sets. So I've picked up that fresh thing. I want to get the the, um, the purple truck, and I want to add that into my theme park. I've picked up the little chicken coops and the little hens and the eggs. And I've also picked up the fresh vehicle as well, just to add into the, add into the city. Some of the sets I think look really nice. What are your thoughts on these new road plates? Have you finally bit the bullet and now started to add them into your cities? Or are you still avoiding it? Or do you do your mills? Which one do you do? And you can see, look at all the different little storage boxes that they've got just piled up. They have so much in the middle and how easy it is just to move things around. And again, they have all the exclusive Legoland Lego bits and pieces so all those boxes we do a we will do a full loop around this one i was just trying to get something to this way and then loop it around a different way but you've got all your pencils your pens you've got your what you got chess pieces you've got your flower pots you've got birthday cakes everything basically that you can think of even games they've got all the board games then we come into the creator stuff which i don't see often and then coming down you've got all sorts of different bits and pieces you've got the, they were the little um bigger figures that you push down with a torch and then their feet shine up and then again, coming from top to bottom, you have all your different Legoland exclusive sets. The reason why I'm picking up the pace a little bit is because it's starting to get a little bit busier. Because obviously, like I said, I came in just as the shop opened. And it doesn't take long for this store to start picking up and getting busy. So I just want to get to each section. If it's a case of you just have to pause it to see the sets, then just go for it. Do whatever you need to do. If you need to just rewind it a little bit and then just catch back up. Give it a give it a go but again you've got all the little lego city stuff and you've got all the sort of the the packs and everything available for all the different ones so you've got what maybe i think there's three different types of packs there and then the stunts and obviously they at their lego con they release lots and lots of new bits and pieces so there's loads of stunt things that they're pushing have you set up your own stunt arena is that something that you're going to go you're going into because i think that's a big theme that they're going to be they're going to be pushing and i think a lot of people really do like the new train station as well so if you have got that let me know that is on my potential list of i would like to have but not 100 percent sure where i would put it scenario like probably everybody else but um yeah i think the colors and the pieces are, are really nice and again some more new releases so what this was where we had the light year sets and now we've got all the new ninjago stuff which i do believe is from their new tv series and then as we pan around we've got all the adidas trainer boxes and they have all the football grounds together so we have i do believe it's real madrid barcelona and the old trafford store all available if you are a fan of those let us know i would like to see them do um like major key grounds instead of just the generic club so i would personally prefer to say for example the olympic stadium wembley 
um, a bit, one of the big main ones from America, and just things like that where their main events are from, uh, rather than it being rather than it being sort of just more club bits. But then I guess they can just sell loads and loads and loads, and there's so many different football stadiums around. And again, as we're getting closer to the door, you've got even more displays available with lots and lots of boxes and everything like that, which. It's just so easy to get the sets that you want because they do have them in more than one place. But like I said, they do obviously have them all grouped together as well. And then they have just everything. So the, you can still get the originals there, which is the big wooden um, figure. If you have no idea what that is, that came out and you're supposed to paint that yourself, I do believe. That was out at the, that was out for a good while and this is the only place that I've seen it back at because they're, they've been discontinued, I do believe, for a huge amount of time. If I've got that completely wrong, correct me, but I'm sure that's what that was for. Um, and what the, the point of that is, is that you then do your own thing with the wooden figure because obviously the company used to deal with wood, that's how it first started, then it links to the duck and then so on and so forth. And this is the first place I've seen that you can buy boxes, full boxes, of all of the seasons. So it's not just the individual packs. You can take the whole box to the till and buy all of those, which will be an interesting thing for the new blind boxes that are going to be coming. And obviously, they're not going to be blind bags anymore, are they? They're going to be the blind boxes. So they're going to be... I don't think you're ever going to know what's in them and you're not going to be able to feel what's in them. So maybe it's going to have to be a case of you and your friend buy a whole box. You'll get three figures of each, so you can split it three ways. You get a full set, absolutely no problem. And it's just a maybe a much easier way of doing it, potentially. But again, thoughts, let, let everybody know what you think in the comments below. Guys, I am starting to run out of time. So if you can like and subscribe and all that good stuff, that would be absolutely fantastic. What we're going to quickly do now, though, is we're going to have a quick look at one of the two of the aisles that I would have missed on the outer bit. And then we're going to go to the corner of where the members of staff were with regards to putting all the new stock in. So we're about to walk out the door and then I'll add in some footage from the later on in the day, so here. So this is another in their new release section on the other side where you've got all the different brick heads. So it's all the Harry Potter stuff. So this is a, a lot more of the Harry Potter stuff. And then as again, as we're coming down to this one, this is to do with the 90 years of play. These are the two bits that I quickly, briefly walk by. And then we're coming around to the corner. So this is what the staff were doing. They were redoing all of this. I think they're your bubble bubble machines there's your dragons up at the top which to be fair until right this second i'd never seen before because they are really really high so that might be something that i would quite like in lego form and then as we come around you've got all the different suites and everything like that for your for your trip and the plane back which is always which is always nice and easy and handy at the same time and then these are all the friends models having a little bit of a better look at these and again you can see they can easily be moved and they can just add in bigger displays of the lego boxes if, if need be so i said it a few times now impressed with regards to just the space they've got yes they have a lot of postcards here and they have the magnets and things as well but we couldn't see them because they had moved them and they were going to be coming back out and i did see them later on in the day so they are available so there's a couple of questions that i do get asked there are postcards and fridge magnets and things available if you want to take them home with you and you can have a look in here now that you can see all of the Legoland sets made up. So you have the Ninjago on there, you've got the Ollie, which is the dragon, and then you've got the train, and then you've got all the new 90 years of play, which they're in the process of setting up that window display because this was filmed the weekend before LegoCon. So this is when this one was done. So this was done just before LegoCon, and then we'll have a look around and just see what else is available in the other windows. There is about a minute or so left and then we will be finished so we'll pan around and have another quick look at these vehicles and then we'll have a look at the other windows as well so that one obviously lights up and flashes again the detail on these are quite nice i'm sure that one's relatively new you've got the bike i don't think it had the on the plinth at the bottom how many bricks were made up on that and that is your friend's photo opportunity because they do not have a heart lake city here like they do at legoland windsor so again the parks are completely different to each other and then you've got all of these more solid solid figures here with his cool his cool benny t-shirt on but guys that is it i have completely run out of time so i'm going to say it one more time if you can like subscribe and all that good stuff that'd be absolutely fantastic but as always thank you very much for watching you guys take care and i'll catch you in the next one Ta -da.